Hi. Hey, thank, thanks for buzzing us to, um, to to chat to us about um, about the court case. Yeah. Um, what 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 happened with with it? it? I mean, it seems like it, it, reading it, sort of seeing the story secondhand, it seems like an extraordinary tale. Yeah, yeah. Well, we wouldn't have been impersonating the female police officer because, as a couple of people have said on your blog, yeah, it's, act, it's, act, it's actually universal uniform. It's a jacket and a waterproof trousers. Right, 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 right. Um, but, um, you know, I, I've been in trouble in the past, and, you know, everybody I know knows that, um, along, you know, quite quite some time back. But I, um, I've been an alcoholic now for 17 years. Wow, that's a long and, time. And I've two years I've been on the waiting list for a detox, because there's w literally one bed at Seven Acres. Is there? And, and at the moment, I, I've been number one for quite a while. Among and the whole like, island, it's just one bed? Yep, there's well, wow. one, one, bed, one bed at St Mary's, which is obviously always full. Right. And then one bed at seven acres, and apparently the last time I checked, there were seven people sleeping on the sofa. Goodness. So I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, yeah. I suffer from depression, anxiety, paranoia, and stress. Okay. Um, doctors been trying different medications. I've just been increased on my antidepressants. Um, they're, well, I don't think they're a problem, but they also um, give me chlorodiazepoxide. What was that name um, again? Chlorodiazepoxide. Okay. And, um, and I went on, I looked it up on Google because I was quite concerned about my behaviour. I've fallen down the stairs and all sorts of things. So since you've uh, been taking that? Since I've been taking them, yeah. yeah. And I look, looked on the internet and they seem to be for recovering alcoholics. Not uh, for somebody that, that is drinking the amount I do. Right. Um, you know, I'm not a recovering alcoholic, I'm a weight and detox. Okay. And, um, and it's, what it's basically done is, for basically, I, I, I can drink a whole bottle of sherry, no problem. Yeah. Um, with this medication, it's like I've drank two. Uh, right. It is right. a problem. So, so what is, I mean, it's changing your behaviour, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I've, I've stopped taking it now. So you, that was, you were you were on that medication before the festival, were you? During both incidents, during the incident of Nick in the uniform and the incident of um, the festival. Right. I, I had, um, I, I, I got into the police car. Yeah. Because I, I was, uh, you know, feeling stressed and depressed. I had to go out for a walk. Going out for a walk when, when I'm drunk is not good. Right. And I got into a police car and then just go sleeping and get nicked and maybe, you know, like a cry for help sort of thing. Yeah. Um, when I got in there, I saw the bag with the uniform and everything. And that it. was in Newport, was it? No, Shanklin. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, so you're saying you saw the uniform in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, saw, saw you know, the old kit, there's some arrest warrants and all sorts. Yeah. Um, <coughs> um, yeah, I broke, yeah, I broke into the police car and then, and then um, yeah, I saw that and then I... I took it and went home and then felt like an idiot next morning and of course each time I have a drink with this medication and then to get brave I dressed up in it once and went to a mate to wind him up right it, you know he was like knocking on his door and stuff yeah. and, uh, and then I put it away and I was like oh, well, you know being stupid and then it comes to the last day of the festival yeah and um Prevzon's information I don't like to say being that much <laughs> right <laughs> and, yeah, I just wanted to see the festival I've never been to a festival I just wanted to see the festival before it ends yeah and um you know, just literally at five o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon, I'd had a drink and, you know, I was pretty hammered. Um, but when I drink, I don't look hammered. Okay. Which is why, which is why there's, there's no reason why the police shouldn't have actually realised, uh, um, realised, you know, that um, there was anything different apart from the tie, you know, obviously he was, he was quite busy doing his job. Yeah. You know, and there's no reason why the police can't have a beard. Uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, I kept my, I kept my head on. Yeah. Um, I did, did the, um, uh, the, the, the festival thing, just was like sparing a lap and thing, I literally just jumped up, got on the bus, went through, changed, changed into a police uniform, and then walked into the festival. Right, so what, do you go in the main entrance? Um, I went in every entrance. In the every, which one? Every, every, every single one, in, out, in, out, went up, ten size, right. the, um, you know, went, went all around. And obviously, um, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you got a police uniform on, no one challenges you. No, no, I was just speaking to all the security guards and saying, how's it going, and that, and, you know, yeah. any trouble, you know, yeah. and this, and, um, and obviously wearing the uniform, people were coming up to me with problems. Right. And um, it is what to say, I do have a, I, I, I did have a first aid certificate. Yeah. Um, you know, the first aid, first handler. So when I sort of got the um, suspected fractured ankle, right. um, I, I called over the security, and, uh, got right. and, and I had a fake, I had a little fake, um, Walkman CD thing on my collar. So I mean, I, it wasn't 
Well, it wasn't fake. It was like a little CB radio. that's was like a quid. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it was a proper one, but it didn't work. It was just yeah. for more for effect. Yeah. And um, and I said I said it wasn't working. I said, can you use yours and got them to get a paramedic. I didn't actually attend her myself because okay. there's plenty of people there, and I've got the security over. Right. Once they once they were there, I then I then left the scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I found a missing person. She was asleep under one of the rides. Right. And um, and I sent the, the people that were looking for her to the missing persons tent. Right. And um, and some guys were having a punch up, and I just went, you know, this bit. You know, pretty simple. Just went up and said, right, break it up, that's enough. And that was it, they just enough. broke it up, did they? Well, I was poli- they thought I was a police officer, didn't they? Wow. So I just, I just said, right, that's one warning, and I see you messing about again. I said, then, um, then you will be arrested. It's, uh, it's extraordinary yeah. to think that w- w- what power that uniform has, isn't it? Just oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah I mean, um, did you feel... Di- I know you said you are drunken on the medication, but did you feel different within yourself while you were wearing it? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. And you know, I got, I got respect, and people come up to me. And I bless these people. I've got to apologise to all these people that have got photographs of them hugging the police officer. Ah, uh, right. Like the festival right. and getting pictures with me stood next to them and stuff like that, because because they didn't actually get a picture of them with a police officer. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think they would have worked out pretty strange a police officer dancing around in the mosh pit. But right, you, you, you were dancing around that way as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, they only for for a little bit of it. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, most most of the time I was actually doing um, policeman duties. So yeah. what? I mean, that's interesting. You're saying you sort of get respect from people, and I, I'm I'm pretty amazed that you know some people having a punch up. You just can go up to them and say, right, you know, calm it down, and that yeah. works. It seems extraordinary. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I don't, I've learned self defence in the past. I I, I just I just went up to one of them that looked the um, looked more the aggressive one and, yeah. I, and I just put my arms through under his and grabbed hold of him and pulled him back right, right. and I just said right that's enough calm down I just stood there holding on to him I said right calm down calm yeah. down and he said oh he did this he did this blah 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 yeah. and, um, and I said right that's enough I'll see you yeah. two fine again this is a festival this is supposed to be a happy occasion I know the weather's bad but right. you know everybody's had a drink everybody's had some fun it's just you know chill out and they actually made up they was alright right right <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, I guess all of those things, I mean, that seems like that your barrister um, used those things, or, you know, not not used them, but uh, brought them up in the court to yeah. say, look, you know, there's obviously no harm being done with this. Yeah, but it's, uh, well, it's, uh, so it's more the, the, the medication had affected me quite a lot. Um, so that medication you know, was I, mentioned in the court, but it hasn't been mentioned in any of these reports then? No, no, because, um, because I wanted to get my story straight. When I phoned the son, they may as well have told me to off, you know. Really? And, and then as soon as County Press came out here on um, Monday, or Monday or Tuesday morning, no, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, they um, came out and took photographs of me, and those papers that are in the Sun and the Telegraph, yeah. and everywhere else, and the one that you've got, yeah. is the one that they told me to, you know, they told me they wanted the exclusive on. The County so Press did? Yeah, they told me not to, tell, not to tell anybody else about my story, we want exclusive rights to this. Right. So you know, I was trying. I went, yeah. So when I was trying to contact the son to make sure they got the story straight. Yeah. Yeah. They, they basically told me to get lost. Right. Um, because, so, because yeah. they had the story already. Yeah. As far yeah. as they were concerned.